Mm, 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 mm. You see this ridiculousness? And see, that's not even my words. That was a quote from my boy Victor, who had sent me this list that he found on BR Gridiron. And this list was called the five NFL teams most likely to disappoint in 2023. Now, to, to, to be put on a list like that, then that would show that, hey, you got high expectations. You got very, very high expectations. Your team has high expectations, but we think y'all are gonna fail. And we think you are one of the top five teams that have the top five highest expectations, but have the top highest uh, chance at failing and not fulfilling those expectations. So let's just uh, read this this sort of uh, preface by Be All Great Iron. It says, August is a time of optimism for just about every NFL franchise. While a few clubs are mired in a rebuild and extremely unlikely to contend in 2023, most fans are heading into the new campaign with the belief that their team has a viable path to winning a Super Bowl. That will quickly change once the meaningful action gets underway in a few weeks. Roster flaws will be quickly exposed. Injuries will mount and only a handful of contenders will be left standing at the conclusion of a grueling 17-game schedule. Even some of the projected best teams could find themselves hanging on by a thread or even out of the playoff picture by season's end. It's difficult to remain a consistent force in this parity-driven league, and the combined negative effects from aging rosters, salary cap constraints, and lower draft picks could cause these clubs to take a step back in 2023. So, here we go. With that in mind, here's a look at five teams predicted to finish over 500, courtesy of DraftKings, I don't care about that, that will come up short this season. All right, here we go. Uh, Number one, now I don't know if this was listed in any particular order, but the Baltimore Ravens were the first team listed in this article. Uh, And so we'll get straight into it. It says their 2023 win projection, 10 and a half wins. Okay, so they could see the Ravens going 10 and 7 or 11 and 6. So anyway, it says the Baltimore Ravens may have celebrated this summer when they finally inked Lamar Jackson to a contract extension. Yes, but the good vibes could sour if the quarterback doesn't lead this team back into contention. Jackson has been unable to finish either of the last two campaigns because of injuries, resulting in his Ravens missing a playoff berth in 2021 and quickly getting eliminated in the wild card round last season. His health and production will be crucial for Baltimore to live up to his lofty win projection in 2023. That paragraph is true. It's true. There is no fight in that. There is no arguing that. Lamar Jackson has missed the end of both of the past two seasons, and that was concerning fluke injuries. Yes, but it happened. Yes. So this year, that's why I keep saying health is wealth. Health is wealth. Lamar Jackson stay healthy. All of them stay healthy, really, because there's a lot of injury concerns really around the Ravens with a lot of different positions, especially on offense. But health is wealth. If they can stay healthy, they got it. But it's important that they stay healthy. Now, a big part of that, again, they did get rid of their head strength and conditioning coach, Steve Saunders, and they moved in a different direction, even though the person who's ta- who took over was still part of his staff, but hopefully they, they got a different vision. They got a different view on things. They, 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 they handle things differently with the injury aspect. So we'll see. We'll see. And it's important that the Ravens make smart decisions, too. I mean, you can't prevent every single thing, uh, but... They got it, hopefully. Anyway, uh, continuing, it said the Ravens front office did its best to provide Jackson with more weapons this year as well. They certainly have. Uh, after going into last season with one of the league's weakest receiving corps, uh, Team Brass brought in both a proven pass catcher in Odell Beckham Jr. and a young prospect brimming with talent in first-round pick Zay Flowers. Hey, and see, they didn't even include Nelson Aguilar. Uh, Laquan Treadwell, I get why they didn't include him, but still, and that's no offense to him, but I, I, I don't, he's not a lock to make the roster. Anything's possible. We'll see. But anyway, moving on. Um, it said the two will augment incumbent number one wide out Rashad Bateman to form one of the better receiving corps out there. Health is still a big factor at this position, though, as Bateman has only played 18 of a possible 34 games since entering the league. And Beckham missed just missed the entire 2022 season with knee issues. So, yeah, that's true. Again, health. Health is wealth. Health is everything this season, man. Ravens, they, they, they put in a lot to this season, which I appreciate a lot. Thank you, Ravens. Thank you. So now it's time to reap the benefits of what the Ravens did this offseason. But time to reap those benefits in season. Need a healthy squad. Uh, Continuing, it says, uh, while the receiving overhaul was welcome, it will be difficult for Baltimore to max out its passing effectiveness if the ground game isn't firing on all cylinders. That will be easier said than done if top back J.K. Dobbins continues to be played by injuries. Dobbins missed the entire 2021 campaign and over half of last season with ailments. So again... So I, I get what they're getting at. So, but with everything that they've said thus far, 
um, why they feel like the Baltimore Ravens are one of these five teams that could disappoint. Because they're not talking about anybody's play. They're not talking about how, oh, this person is not good at this position or this person struggles at this position. No, 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 no. It's none of that. The only thing that they're talking about throughout this point thus far, the article, is health. It's health. They talked about the health of Lamar Jackson, the, the health of Odell Beckham Jr., the, the health of Rashad Bateman. And now they're talking about the health of J.K. Dobbins. That's been it. Cool. You know, all of them can ball. All of them can play. But health has been the only concern. Continuing, last paragraph, it says, with other key pieces such as starting left tackle Ronnie Stanley consistently banged up, again, talking about health, uh, there's a lot that needs to go right for Baltimore to have a good year. While it's certainly possible this group largely stays healthy and matches or even exceeds projections, it seems more likely that an injury or two will submarine the Ravens' 2023 season. Okay. So initially, when they got put on this list, that, that's what I thought it would lead to, would be health, especially because health has been a big issue for the Ravens, especially over the past couple of years. Uh, so the way that the article went, it was no surprise. Um, but again, yeah, we're just hoping that they stay healthy. That's, that's, that's the biggest thing. That's the only thing. If the Ravens can stay healthy. They will be good to go. And another important thing with health depth, quality depth, because guys are going to get banged up. I mean, it would be great if every single Ravens player could stay completely healthy. Nobody would miss any time, and, and that would be that. That would be amazing, but we know that just doesn't happen. Hopefully, it'll happen, but I just feel like, man, like Ra Ra Ravens deserve a shot this year, man. They deserve a healthy shot because they, <laughs> they ain't had no healthy shot in years, man. But they, 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 they deserve to uh, be healthy throughout the season, down the stretch, in the playoffs and all that. Uh, because I, I was talking to my guy, Jason, a couple weeks ago. And you're just talking about how there they just has not been closure. There hasn't been proper closure with the Baltimore Ravens season because we just haven't gotten to see uh, them in the playoffs all the way. Because remember, 2020, Lamar Jackson went out with concussion. 2021, he didn't finish the season. The Ravens missed the playoffs. Then last year, 2022, he didn't finish the season. They made the playoffs, but he didn't play in it. So we, didn't, we, we haven't gotten to see a full Lamar Jackson playoff game or Lamar Jackson Ravens playoff game in years. So we've been missing that. So, and we know what they could do in a regular season. We know that already. We get that. We know what these boys can show. We know they can play. And we've seen... The Baltimore Ravens do their thing um, with lesser talent on offense. Not no talent off, but lesser talent on offense. Now Ravens like, it's looking good on offense on paper, man. It really is. But again, health is everything. That is everything. That is the one thing that could be the major roadblock for the Baltimore Ravens. But hopefully this is the year where they plow right through it.